Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hi there. Hello. Who are you saying hi to? Me or the audience? Like both. Okay. Like I was side-eyeing you, so I hoped you would like clue in that I was saying it to you, but also them. But also it's Monday and also... How many times can I say also before you realize Somebody I'm do a count, sleep please. deprived? There you go. Uh, welcome to How to Not. This is a podcast where we listen or we, we read. We, we don't listen. We read. Man, if there was an audiobook version of WikiHow, <laughs> oh, it'd be so much oh, I would, easier. I would be so into that. We uh, wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> I guess we are, this is our new tagline, the official audiobook of WikiHow. That makes sense, right? It does. It's actually good. <laughs> uh, how to not. This is a podcast where we read WikiHow articles uh, about how to do normal, everyday human things in order to live uh, normal human lives. My name is Rob Moden. And I'm Caitlin Alexander. And uh, so today we have an article. I haven't seen it. Uh, you told me the headline <laughs> uh, and said, let's go. It's um, called How to Hug. And it was submitted on Twitter by Shauna Merrill. There you go. And uh, I'm very excited to delve into this. Just for your knowledge, uh, 88% of readers found this helpful. 167 okay. people co-authored this. Okay, so... And there's a review that's highlighted at the side. You're, you're putting a finger says, up. You're making sure I get you get Now I understand why my friend says I must learn to hug her properly. Well, there's many <laughs> layers to that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Putting, going back to the numbers, so 167 people... Co-authored it. Co-authored it. They all put in their perspective of hugging. They so did. It's, it's a sti- it's rife. It's a statistically hugs. rife hug <laughs> that you're gonna get out of this. Yeah. It's a it's a large sample pool. Exactly. Eighty eight people, eighty percent. Yeah. So if you put a hundred people in a room, eighty eight people will know how to hug each other, yeah. I guess. Yeah, then the rest twelve just don't like being touched. And that's who's reading the <laughs> article today for this podcast. Yes. Yep. High five. <laughs> nice. We're too far away from each other to do that. Um, So I'm just going to go ahead and read you the just the synopsis. Sure. Hugs are a great way to express affection. Hugging shows that you care about a person and that you support that person through good times and bad. However, you want to hug your crush on or your lover differently than you hug a friend or family member. Read on for some tips on the best way to hug the people that you care about. Okay. Also, this is a first. um, If you had seen this article, you would have been mesmerized by the fact that there seem to be gifts Mm -hmm. of real people. Mm -hmm. demonstrating different styles of hugs Mm. and it is uncomfortable (laughs) uh so hold on wikihow has the ability to put gifts in articles now apparently okay look at that are they now Ooh, i'm sure it's really uncomfortable so maybe once we get to that section we can we can get into is that the next section it's hugging a crush is the first section okay so i we i think we should describe these gifts so that first one there is a very large swing of both arms oh, yeah. simultaneously. As far sideways and upwards as, as you, you possibly are, can. As if you are praising the Lord or the sun. <laughs> One of the two. And then you just swing those arms violently so, around. Swing them swing them forward? Yep. As if to clasp your beloved. <laughs> and just get in there. So so once again, arms down at the side, swing, swing them up. up and... Praise the Lord. Clasp. <laughs> A big old swing. It's like it's like a big old. It's like one of those. Uh, do you ever see in um, like arcades or casinos yeah. where there's like these cl- there, these the hands claws? that will come and like you you try and like oh, pull like the, the coins yes. towards you? Yeah, so I lost so much money on those. So you get the jackpot. Why would you play those? I don't know. You put enough liquor in me at a casino, I'll play anything. <laughs> but it's like if your hand. You imagine the hand in those games yeah. that like go forward with a big old, yeah. a big old swing and it's then pull exactly back. That feeling. It's that, but like your hands go forward to clasp the person's back it's and perfect. kind of pull them the towards you. The way Rob has angled this discussion because of the Should we do fact gifts we have on Twitter? <laughs> because we have podcast mics. Mm-hmm. He looks like he's aiming for the back of someone's neck with his hands. It's mm. very uncomfortable. The mic being my beloved's neck? <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Understood. <laughs> So hugging a crush is the first step. Mm-hmm. Approach your crush carefully. Smile and say some caring words or compliments. Make sure that he or she is expecting a hug or they. It can be awkward if you come up and hug someone out of the blue, especially in the city. Hugs often happen. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hugs often happen at celebratory events like birthday parties, graduations, or when two people are reunited after a long absence. That may be the time to hug someone. Was that part of the, the yeah. writing or was that you? That was part that, of the writing. That may be the time to hug someone. 
So okay, so obviously my biggest reaction was uh, city hugs, country in the hugs, city, city, are, hu- are city mouse and country huggers more than city people. If you go back and watch City Mouse and Country Mouse, <laughs> the beloved maybe Canada only cartoon yeah, probably show, only. but that those mice hug differently. They got the details they right do. in that show. Yeah. So in the city, in the city, we don't hug. We not just really. nod uncomfortably at one another. From about 15 feet away from each yeah. other. That if is what breathe, you call a city hug. If you breathe on somebody else in the city, it is considered a huge offense. It and is, you may be arrested. It is daringly intimate <laughs> to to breathe on somebody, even accidentally, on our, our transit system. Yeah. Wildly over budget because every subway car can it's, only has a maximum occupancy of one person. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone just freaks out. You just see a lot of people standing at the sidewalks, just waiting for their their single tram, single person tram to the, come along. The one tram, sometimes a bus, but even the bus, it's smaller than a tram. You yeah. you have to be desperate to get onto because an empty bus. Because then you're sharing that airspace with that driver, and that exactly. is intimate. It is. Now, <laughs> we have a whole Ontario uh, leadership election coming up. Yeah, do, one of do. the One of the key issues. <laughs> yes. Now, do you, does everyone have a 30 or 45 foot? Uh, what's the name for when you uh, tell somebody legally they can't be near Radius? you? Radius? Legally Birth? they can't be near you. Mm. When you sue somebody to say that you can't oh, come near me um, anymore. Isn't that a restraining order? Yes, a restraining order for everyone. Everyone gets a restraining order <laughs> a on everyone else. A wide restraining order. On everybody else. Perfect. That's why we keep building vertically. We just got to get higher and higher. <laughs> We're just escaping the restraining order. So in the country, the hugs, much longer. That's, yes. That's what it is. Yeah. It's you, you do a hug, but you do... You just embrace. It's about... Uh, 12 minutes long? It's like a 12 minute long hug. It's why the country life is so slow. Um, it's also why they have to abbreviate most of their words. They got to save time. Because they got to save time for those sweet, sweet hugs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the second step to hugging your crush. Lean forward and put your two arms around your crush. They, this is literally like explaining how to hug to somebody. It is messing me up. Okay. Put your two arms around your crush, pressing the person you are hugging warmly against you. And then it says, lucky you. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and it's weirdly gendered for no reason. Okay. If you are a man... Her arms should be around your neck, and you should be embracing her around the waist. Keep her in that position for no more than a couple of seconds, and let go as soon as she does. Look her in the eyes when you separate and continue the conversation naturally. If you are a woman, put your hands behind his neck and press your chest lightly against his chest. Let go as soon as he does. Do not linger, or you will seem desperate. Put your hands behind his neck? Neck. Okay, so... The hands... I've, I don't hug human men very often, <laughs> So wait, if no, you, I think wait, you, are you non if you exist in the genderless void, do you not get hugs? Well, I think this is like it's weird because obviously they're going for an average between a city hug and a country yeah. hug. It's what people would consider a normal normal hug. hug. Um, they aren't explaining. Well, okay, so I guess for a non-binary for, person, yeah. So we, did it say anything about the hands for men? They yeah, the hands around the waist are was around it? the waist, yep. and if you're a woman, your yep. hands are on. The, the neck. neck. So, so non binary person's on the shoulder. Around the Just shoulder or in the, the pits. Armpits. I think we have in to the hug. Pits. If you've ever been hugged by a non binary person, you know because we hug you right in the pits. Well, that's a signal that you use in order to to, to let people know how they should. It's how I it's how I say my pronouns to people. Instead mm. of saying I go by they them, I just hug them right under the armpits. And they should understand <laughs> that. They should get it. Why don't they? God, it's weird. If only this world was more progressive. <laughs> But then the hands behind the neck is a very middle school dance move. It is. I would, if somebody hugged me mm-hmm. and they put their hand behind their, my neck, mm-hmm. I would be instantly uncomfortable. Yeah. I'd like... Or really swept away in Staircase <laughs> to Heaven. One of the two, or, right? Or one of the two. Oh, man. When I was, oh, when I was in like, what, what grade was it? It must have been like 10th grade. Yeah. I was, I was too old to not know that Stairway to Heaven was like an eight minute song. Oh, my God. I asked, I asked a crush. Not, hold on. I didn't, not only I asked a crush to dance no. to Stairway to Heaven, but it was the second time I asked her to dance that night, which in middle school is like. That's a big deal. It's a big, to ask yeah. twice, because everyone knows what's up yeah. at that point. And, but everyone knew that it was an eight minute song, except for me. So, um, I guess what I'm saying is if you don't know your rock and roll, <laughs> then you're going to look like a real square. Oh my God. 
<laughs> it was awkward. That's really uncomfortable. Now, obviously, since then, I've practiced by putting. Wait, no, I'm All not. You I'm not the is... woman, but for practice, I guess I just put my hands behind everyone's neck daily, just <laughs> just to just to feel that. I say hi to somebody. I do a handshake with one hand and the hand behind the neck with the <laughs> you other. Just tap the back of the neck. With tap the, the neck. Other. Little neck tap. Double, <laughs> double tap. Amazing. <laughs> double tap. Amazing. So method two is hugging a friend. This one's weird because mm-hmm. the first step is go up to oh, your friend. Oh, this one's weird. Okay. Give your friend a genuine smile. That's the first step to hugging your friend. Okay. So you have to be smiling. That wide, smiling, genuine. A Joker-like smile yes. at all times while hugging. That's yes. not creepy at all. Not at all. approachable and it is normal. nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Step two, embrace mm-hmm. your friend. Okay. Girls. Yep. Close your eyes and think about how much you love your friend when hugging. Press as much as you feel like without squishing your friend. Do not clap the person you're hugging on the shoulders. Some girls think you don't like them if you do it that way. Some people don't. Some, some think that you don't like them if you don't do what? If you do. Some people think you don't like them if you if you tap them on the shoulders. So girls will think you don't like them. Okay, so girls can't tap on the shoulders, which I am guess I'm thinking in advance is probably going to say is a very guy thing. Um so on, it says close, close your, your eyes, eyes and think and just about imagine. how much you love your friend. Hey, hey, Wiki, how that's gay. <laughs> hey, Wiki, how are you talking about gal pals or are you talking about friends? Because I feel like you're from the same article writers as Kristen Bell's or Kristen. No, damn it. I can't help you because you're going into a, into <laughs> some very specific part of the gay subculture this that is, I don't know. This is written by the same people that gotcha. write those articles okay. about Kristen Stewart, where it's like Kristen Stewart is holding hands with her gal pal, and you're like, "Okay, so their it's girlfriends like... are dating." <laughs> <laughs> Why? Are, what? So there's a whole whole subculture of like they don't want to call it gay, or they so just they genuinely don't pal, know gal pals. Okay, or like I'm genuinely learning. No, this, for this the is first a real time. thing. Gal pal like, is gal is pal code. is a is a joke because it'll okay. be like you'll you'll see two openly queer women like holding hands in a newspaper it'll be like it's so nice she's holding hands with her friends aren't friends great you're, you're gently like, you're gently for for <laughs> listeners that sound was caitlin gently sarcastic slapping, slapping myself on the face, the face. <laughs> just uh so okay so as yeah. i understand it hold on did gal pal start with newspapers just genuinely starting i think that? gal pal actually genuinely started out of somebody writing an article about kristen stewart holding mm-hmm. her girlfriend's hand and now it's an in joke and now among it's an in joke we'll be like oh yeah they're gal pals and it's just like they're very gay okay for each other okay because they like it's weird to just go like you should close your eyes and just imagine just how good this hug is do the how hug. much you love your friend just while do you're the holding hug. Your, closing your eyes i'm like that's gay that's pretty gay mm-hmm Guys, yes, this is for you, Rob. Thank you. Embrace strongly mm. and clap each other on the top of your backs. Mm-hmm. If you're having an emotional moment, hold the hug for a brief moment and do not clap each other's backs. Clap each other's pecs? Backs. We don't do that. No, you have to. Oh, do do that. Unless you're having an emotional mo- moment and am then I, you cannot do that. Am I listening very poorly or is there like a lot of double negatives or something? There's a lot part? of double negatives. Okay, so grasp a person. Yeah. Does it does it do does it say anything about that awkward like half handshake half like fist clasp? It doesn't. No, it that d- is a it thing. It does show you. Um, oh, our, there's gif. a gif okay, of here it, we go. which should. Uh, it's it's very soft and much <laughs> much just only much softer in contrast to that description. So yeah. it's two men. So each of their it's very soft. Their right hands go around the back of the waist. Their left hands go <laughs> over the shoulder. And do about three gentle taps on the back, That's and then a, you hold it for seemingly, seemingly forever. Seemingly too long. <laughs> seemingly forever. Seemingly forever. Um, okay. Um, so if we're going on, like, that's a girls, guy, girls and guys rule, mm-hmm. my, my genderless void friends. Yes. Um, so we can't think about how much we love the other person. But you do have to close your eyes. But we do have to close our eyes, and we can't clap each other's backs. So I propose we slap each other's butts. <laughs> Okay. And then just think about how we'd rather be doing literally anything else. So if you're visualizing it, if it's two non-binary people, people yeah. it would be two people who approach each other, eyes closed, eyes closed. and they're both with both hands just gently just tapping t- on the butt. Gently buttocks. tap the butt. The buttocks. The buttocks. And then just slowly walk away from each other, relishing that experience for the fact that it's over. <laughs> and just go home and then think about how much you enjoy. Exactly. It's more of a delayed of, process. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
I wonder, hold on, I wonder if the hands would at all get in the way if, so a non-binary person, person and a woman, and a woman. non-binary person and a man. Oh, okay. Because the arms are just starting yeah. to intersect in weird ways. So I think like if you're, if you're non-binary and you're, you're, you're hugging either a guy or a girl, you adjust one of your hands mm-hmm. to fit the stereotypical hug that they would be used to having and the mm-hmm. other still goes for the butt. Mm-hmm. So it's just like a firm cup and and like a a cup and pat a cup and pat a cup and yeah. pat gotcha <laughs> hashtag cup and pat hashtag cup and, pat. and if it's with a woman you just close your eyes I already you hold forgot <laughs> both wait you you close the eyes and you give it a little squeeze just and then a little you just bit go, but you obviously you ask for consent first yes obviously well I think that that should go before I this go, entire hey, article hey friend who is a girl may I give you a non-binary hug and she goes. Yes, you may. I would enjoy if you gave me a non-binary hug. I definitely full know what well that is. That it is me going to go hug and grab the butt. Because they know that you're a non-binary person because yes. you have previously stiffed yes. your hands in their armpits. And they are like, yes, I know exactly what I'm in here for. This is a very educational podcast. I'm <laughs> glad we're getting across. We're, I'm glad we're making sure people know these things. Because yes. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ignorance. It is. That leads to a lack of progression in society. Okay, so hugging a lover is different than hugging a crush, and that's our third step. Okay. Approach your lover and put your hand on his or her shoulders. The experience is just as romantic, no matter who initiates the hug. I think we've all seen this move. Okay, so that is the middle the that middle is, school dance. That is the middle school dance But wait, move. didn't it say both people put arms yeah, on the shoulders? it didn't specify who did what, but in my imagining of what I read was both people just put their arms on each other's shoulders and stand That's what very the, far apart. The gif wasn't that, though. The gif was the traditional, like, women put their arms up around, over the shoulders around the neck, and yeah. the guy is putting his arms around the waist. Yeah. So, already, wiki how... Wrong. How how many are how many authors on this article? A hundred and something. And they all fucked up. And they all fucked up. All of them. It's, it's we can't try to get fancy and put some moving images in there, and they just did not read what was being written. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever, ever, like end of a day, like, hi, hugged my, my girlfriend yeah. by putting my arms over the shoulders, which is what the text is implicating. I mean, I, I I've never had that experience because I've always had to hug, you know, from below. With the butt. Mm-hmm. So. I should also clarify that I've never had that experience because I've never experienced love. <laughs> Honey, if you're listening, you know that's a joke. <coughs> Kaylin is dying. I'm sorry. I just actually collapsed a little bit from loving. That was not expected. Next I- part. Look your lover in the eyes and say, I love you. Mm-hmm. If you want to, tell him or her how much you care about and how much you love spending every second together. Every second? Every second. No free time? No free time. Does it say anything oh, about how often you hug? Oh, 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 you found Sorry. something. The next gif. Yep. I leave you to... Dis- dis- you could just describe what the... What the fuck, fuck is I'm that? looking at. What the fuck? Okay. All right, I'm going to explain. So, so we join our couple where we previously left them. Middle school dance style. Middle school dance style. Girls' arms around the, the, the neck. Guys' arms around the waist. And then they do... It almost looks like he's going in for a kiss and she's leaning away. Or that's one that's one or funny way to think of it. Dipping her or in a very strange d- manner. Dipping her back and to her right. Back and to her right. Yes. It is like they are reenacting the JFK assassination. It is <laughs> That's a sign of a good hug. Back it, <laughs> That's how hugs have been, hugs were definitely just better after <laughs> yeah, the sixties. Because exactly. everyone suddenly had a reference point. For right. how you should hug Got somebody. It. Pull the JFK assassination. That's, <laughs> That's what you do. Awful. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? Question mark. So this that that gift describes fall into each other. Hug the but person. They're not, they're not. They're, not. Falling. they're as they're far, falling in the same direction. They're further apart than any other couple has been while hugging. They stay at the end by the end they still have enough t- room for Jesus between them. I'm gonna tell you what it says guys should do. Okay. And you're gonna tell me how many men read this article and are now part of the uh, wrong side of me too oh no oh no (sighs) males carefully sliding both your hands down from her shoulders put them on her waist and slide them around her lower back put your head on her shoulder and press her towards you for as long as you like (gasps) if you want to you can give her a small massage with your hands and try to warm her you can also (laughs) lift her in the air and shift her weight towards you girls especially love this one 
When you separate, you can look into your lover's eyes, smile genuinely, and, if the situation is fitting, kiss her like you mean it. Okay, so so many things to go through. So many things to go through. So many things to go through. All right. So much to unpack. So first, the text is still off sync from the gifts because it believes that the men's arms are up at the shoulders for some reason. For some reason. For some reason. So they move down to the waist. Yes. You immediately start massaging their lower back. Which is if some if anybody started doing that to me, it'd be like no. I'm doing. I'm just like doing it. I'm miming it in the air, and it is. (laughs) It's weird. It's very. I don't like it. So I'm just massaging the small of her back. Yes. And then what was next? And then, lift, but also lift her up. You lift her in the air and shift her weights toward her weight towards you. So I lift her up. So now my face and her stomach are about even. Yeah, and you're still I've massaging her, her back. Straight in the air, I'm still massaging yeah. her back. That is how much strength I have in my fingers. That my fingers are essentially yes. massaging her, but also holding her up in her entirety. <laughs> if you if you can't, you're not and then suited. Pull her in. So my face is now just buried in her stomach. Yeah, and I can't see anything. Smile genuinely. I'm smiling. <laughs> Into her stomach. <laughs> if I saw somebody doing this in public, I'd be mm-hmm. like, are you okay? I'm smiling into her stomach, and then I kiss her? Kiss her like you mean it. Uh, mwah, and then it's just... Mwah, mwah. She, I'll tell you something, Rob. Little kisses on Girl's the stomach. Girl's gonna be real real offended if she ain't pregnant. <laughs> You're kissing her stomach. That's I'm, I'm just kissing where the future baby we're going to make will be. <laughs> Just, just future, just let, let, letting the stomach build up those kisses. Oh my god! Build up a reservoir of kisses. Okay. Alternatively, females. Alternatively, females. Yep. Extend your arms toward him and wrap them around his neck and shoulders. Lean as close as possible and press your torso against his. In situations of extreme intimacy, interlocking your leg and his is appropriate. What? Avoid holding your arms below his shoulders. Are you trying to hug or are you like doing a wrestling takedown? I don't know. Okay. Sorry, can you restart just a section just real quick? Because I've already lost everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. The entire bit. Just the girls part. Okay. The females. Sorry. It's it's written like somebody on Reddit <laughs> it wrote is. it. So females. In situations of extreme intimacy, mm-hmm. interlocking your leg in his is appropriate. Okay. Avoid holding your arms below his shoulders and embracing too tightly, even if you are the same height as he is. Women, you could be hurting the man. If there's anything we know, is that men should be, A, pushing their fingers into her. It's true. And lifting her up <laughs> without asking her first. And then smushing her stomach on your face. <laughs> and that women, please hold back. Can you please? Can you please just calm down? Just women? Females? Females. Females. Space. Females? <laughs> females? Females. Come on. <laughs> females, I... Oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Females, 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 it hurts. I can't. So, okay, the non-binary version of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have the, we have the shoulders. So the, it needs to incorporate a lean, or was that two steps ago? I can't even remember anymore. Oh, I hold think. on, a lift, a massage, okay. and the yeah. leg locks. Yeah, yeah, I got this. We lift from the armpits, and we massage the back of the armpit. With the legs. With the legs. So the leg is reaching around and you just rub the leg up and down the entire torso. It's actually just a very, very intimate yoga position. Mm Mm-hmm. Which explains why I don't hug people very often because I have no flexibility. (laughs) Yoga was started by non-binary huggers. This is true. Hundreds of years ago. (laughs) Okay. The last method. Mm Mm-hmm. Hugging a family member. Okay. Walk over to your family member. Wait. So hold on. How far away did we start from the other people? You're far away. Okay. Approach your family member with kind feelings. Feet. Approach them with kind feelings. Obviously, the feelings won't be the same as that what you'd feel with a crush, a lover, or a close friend. Mm-hmm. Unless you and your family members are also friends. Embrace your family member. Right. Continuing to talk while hugging is okay. Where you place your hands is not important, because a person you're hugging won't think it over too much. Press gently. You don't necessarily have to have hard contact. Stroke your hands quickly across the top of the other person's back. Smile while you let go. I didn't think that describing hugs in text form as if you've never had a hug before would Mm -hmm. be so creepy, but it is endlessly terrifying. So this is, imagine this is a guide for some aliens that come down and they are like, how do humans interact with each other? Well, (laughs) all right. So two bodies approach each other. Yes. They're smiling like all, like like heathens. (laughs) Yeah. They're smiling like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Just get all your smiles out. Yeah. It's like, hi. Hello. Hello. 
would you like to put your body against mine? And they go, yes. Mm -hmm. There's just an interchange of arms. (laughs) In seemingly any direction. It doesn't matter. Resting on almost any body part. (laughs) There are sometimes legs involved. Sometimes there are dramatic maneuvers such Mm -hmm. as lifts. Massages. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, Leg sweeps. Yeah. Leg sweeps are important. (laughs) Just take them out. Yeah. Take out their foundation. I honestly to show love. I can't, I can't. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then there's tips that apply to any kind of hug. Gotcha. Hug only when the person you want to extends his or her arms. If the person doesn't look like he or she is preparing to hug you, then you may want to back off. Consent. That's important. Should have been at the beginning of this sure, article, but let's move on. But also it's defining consent as only <laughs> somebody who is standing there with two arms out act ready to accept That's you. That's fair. I've never gone to hug somebody and they've had their two arms extended so far out. Even if I have Asked and it's confirmed that I want to like hug a someone. It's a slight raise of the arm. Yeah, even if even if you ask someone, "Hey, can we hug? Do you want to hug?" They're like, yeah. "Yeah." Usually, they're they might be sad and they just have their arms to their side. Nobody, no matter what mood they're in, then you're right. Extend the here arms. Here comes my arms. Here comes. I would like to hug. Here comes now. hug. It is a very toddler move of like it is of like come here, come here, on. give me a hug. Or a mom, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe moms. Moms are maybe the true. only ones I've seen who have just like lifted out their arms. It's true. Waiting for you to come and it's fill the space true. between them. Yeah. Moms are the exception. Mm-hmm. Be welcoming when you hug. If either of you requested the hug, then make the person you're hugging feel safe. Act as though the two of you are the only people who matter at this moment. That is That's a creepy nice. sentence. It sounds nice. No. It's almost nice. No. It's almost nice. <laughs> No one in the world matters except you. See, that's why it's creepy. No one in the world matters except you. Mm, mm. Nim, 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 nim. Let me kiss your stomach. <laughs> Let me grab your armpits. Mm-hmm. Lift you by the armpits and kiss your stomach. <laughs> oh, this is a new laugh. Boy, a that giggle. laugh was a lot. A okay. Giggle. Avoid hugging the person too tightly. The best way to judge how tightly or loosely to hug is to let whomever you're hugging indicate what they want by how hard they squeeze. If they are soft, be soft back. If they like bear hugs and squeeze tightly, hug back the same way. What if neither of you puts any effort into the hug and you're just kind of standing there like limp fishes? Maybe, what if both of you don't want to play whatever hopscotch game was just (laughs) described there? Uh, uh, Just like... uh, uh, Put your left hand in and put your left hand out. Put your left hand in and then you shake shake it all all about. about. You you extend and then you unextend and you extend back again and that's how you play the hugs. (laughs) That's how you play the hugs. Oh, shit. Caitlin's very tired today. I am. Hold the hug for a moment before letting go. Mm -hmm. A hug is a powerful way to communicate that you care for another person, and it can feel great to improve the other person's mood. Ending the hug too early can make both of you feel awkward. Is the next tip about how long? How, how, How long is too long for hugs? Okay, good. Know when to give a long, loving hug, especially if the person is feeling upset or down. If you hold, if you feel comfortable, get go go along with it and hug until the other person lets go or loosens his or her, her hold. I would like you to know that is the end of this article. Okay, so these last two tips that yeah. end the entire article are both don't end it too soon, I think. Yeah. And hold on as long as you want. Yeah. So if two people, it, so eight, let's go back to the 88%. Yeah. 100 people in a room. Yeah. 88 people have approved yeah. of this article. They have both been given the instructions, do not end this hug. Just Essentially, do not do end, not this end it. Yeah, yeah. So these, so you put a hundred people in a room. Eighty-eight people are trapped forever yes. because they will never relinquish. It's like a, it's like a power handshake. Mm-hmm. You never let you go. Never first. let go. Donald Trump. This might be how to just distract That's how Donald you Trump. Him. Yeah, how to defeat him. <laughs> a little yes. dr- more dramatic language than I was going. With. <laughs> but like, you want Donald Trump just wrapped up in in something, and he can't actually, you know, destroy the world. Just. Uh, just bring him, in bring him into a hug because I'm sure he's. Hug. I'm sure he's reading WikiHow articles I'm definitely on sure. how to be president, how to govern. <laughs> well, no, governance an uh, advanced word for him, I think. Yeah. Um. Um. So those 88 people are never going to see the light of day again. Yeah. 12 people get out of that room, and they're they're just like they're a little antisocial, God. but they are able to have a second lease on life. So our friend Shauna, who mm-hmm. brought up this article, mm-hmm. has also brought up uh, their favorite wiki how community question for us okay which it does win it is the best one i've okay. seen yep how can you hug your enemy <gasps> hug them only for a short amount of time it doesn't have to be too close but it should be genuine that is a very that is nice a beautiful 
Keep, hug your enemies close. <laughs> hug. No, hug your friends close. Keep your enemies. Hug your enemies. Cl- huggers. Faster. Hug your enemies faster. Ha- Caitlin is you- nodding. Yes. I don't. Ugh. That made sense. Okay. I don't um, know. And that's it for the community questions. But I'm going to ask our favorite one. Okay. This is actually really bad. Interesting. Interesting. Here we go. What do I do mm-hmm. if I shit my pants mm-hmm. while hugging someone? This is very so. So we've gone through three sections. Yeah. Uh, crush, first of all. Yeah. Um, I think Pretend you... you're wearing new cologne. Next. <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, lover. Lover knows you better. Lover knows that you don't could, own new cologne. You know what? I could shart while hugging my girlfriend. Jesus and she Christ. would just be like, let's never speak of this again. And also, don't touch me for about a week. And I'd be like, cool, bye. And that's true love in many <laughs> that ways. That is true love. That's true love. Because you never know when the shart strikes. <laughs> we have some um i'm gonna pu- pull back the current a little bit we do record these sometimes on a lunch hour yeah, at work do. so there are people about six feet away from us yeah on another side of a somewhat thin wall who Honestly, definitely heard Rob, uh me just say something about something something shark strikes i would say i'm ashamed but i'm part of a ship name that's shartland so i like really don't care okay okay <laughs> Okay. Now, and, and family, family members, family. It depends. If it's my brother, he's going to make fun of me. If it's my mom, she's going to take the most pity on me in the world and probably make me food. Oh, so if you are looking for mom to make you a meal, just shit your pants while you hug her. Because she'll be like, "Oh, well, it seems like your stomach's empty." So exactly. <laughs> let's fill it back like, up again. Seems like uh, seems like you evacuated all the food and nutrients in your system. Would seems you like, like that tank more? needs more fuel, huh? <laughs> Huh, baby? <laughs> oh, my God. There you go. Amazing. So, so really, no matter what, so either with a crush, you can yeah. play it off as cool new cologne, and they're like, wow, we're 11 years old. I didn't know cologne. I don't know what cologne is. And they're Who very does? impressed because yeah. you're an adult. Exactly. Uh, if it is a lover, yeah. then it is a true test, test. of uh, love and patience is kind and something, something. Something, something, something. Don't shut yourself while you hug your partner. And if it's family, it's variable, but you'll probably get free food out yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. So... I think most of all, we can recommend you should shit your you pants. You should. It while is hugging. highly recommended. 88% of people agree. How to not approve. <laughs> How to not approve. And I think that's it for this week. And that is it for this week. I don't think we have any new reviews. New. No. So if you go on iTunes, you leave a five star review uh, as well as potentially even a article that you want us to read, we will, we will uh, heavily uh, think about it. <laughs> yeah there, there's a word i'm looking for but we'll ponder yeah but we'll also give you a shout out for your review yep. um and you can reach out to us at uh twitter at how to not show uh rob is on there being occasionally occasionally, occasionally and i am there to just be a little shit <laughs> usually usually the use of it is while i'm editing or while i'm waiting for it to go to go up on the host i will give little previews yeah. or uh mysterious things that are only funny to me <laughs> And not really it to anyone else. It's always so funny for me. Because well, because you know what I'm referring yeah. to in the episode. What was it last week? Uh, just like the weird sign that that had a, a long cat prophecy on it. Oh my god, it, yeah. And nobody and knew what it was. was like, what? Exactly. And it was like, excellent. Mm-hmm. So that's it for this week. That is it for this week. Uh, we will see you all next week with another one of these very helpful human guides. And I will beatbox us out. Boom, skittagun, dun, 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 d